Okay, so two things before the video starts. Note that the last couple videos have been bulk recorded, including this one, so I end up asking the same question in this video also about whether you guys want to face cam in videos that are not ROM hacks. And yes, I understand what you're saying. It's perfectly logical. If you guys don't think it's a good idea, I'm not going to do it. Um, I just wanted to let you know, disregard the question that is said in the video because it's going to be said again. Um, but I guess I won't be doing that because it seems like to you guys it's more of a distraction than anything and that makes a lot of sense. Um, and another thing. Uh, I was told I ramble a lot. And uh, all I can say is, you know, that's my commentary. I'm sorry if that's an issue to you, but... Um, I'm not trying to be rude here, but that's that's just what my video commentary is because you know I can't think of anything witty to say. Rambling has been my commentary for years, so I just wanted to I just wanted to say that considering I heard this recently. So anyway, uh, first thing again, disregard the question, and secondly, rambling is my commentary, so get used to it. Enjoy the video, guys. Hey guys, it's Jack playing the Last King I Roll. In the last episode, we started this desert world. And this episode, we shall continue this desert world and see where it takes us. Shifting wastelands. It's windy, probably. Da -da -da -da. This is a. Uh, uh, I think I I think I asked about this in the last episode. <laughs> what this music is, and I once again, I'm just gonna start this episode. Um, this is gonna be, the, I think, the final episode in which I bring this up. If you guys haven't seen this yet, then you need to start watching more often if you're watching. Um, I mentioned uh, two videos ago that since I own a webcam, I was considering on the Let's Plays that we don't do involving ROM hacks doing a face cam. Uh, sound off in the comments. Would you guys want that? Would you guys be okay with that? Would you guys request that? If not, then I'm not going to bother. But if you guys would want it, if you guys want to see what I, what I look like, then <laughs> by all means say, yes, please, use a webcam. Uh, but if not, I'm not going to worry about it. So once again, sound off in the comments. I shall... Use you shall use your poles, but who knows? There's a life up there that seems impossible to reach. I mean, is there like a spring or something hidden in these? Nope. Then what the hell, man? Oh, did I just mess myself up, or do I, do I have to run jump now? When I could have just normal, I could have just normal jumped. I have to run jump. I have to exert even more energy than I would have had to do on the previous situation. Come on, guy. Come on. Physics. <laughs> what what is this? Physics. Physics don't exist, Mr. the Sandworm. I don't know what you're talking about. Are those sandworms? They probably have a Legend of Zelda name that I don't know. That would probably make sense, I suppose. But, you know, again, I, I, I wouldn't know. Hello, midpoint. You are a helpful midpoint. And once again, these last couple episodes have been bulk recorded, so if I missed anything, I apologize. Um, and I think this will be the last video today in which I bulk record. I've done... Last episode, and episode before last, and of course this one are all in a single session. I think this will be the last one I do in a single session, just so you guys have some videos over the course of days. And, you know, at that point I think I'll have gotten my shit together. And I may have censored that. <laughs> Best Olympic sport is Jump the World. Because, you know, logic. Logic exists in all forms of logic. Oh no! You know, the funny thing is, is I don't remember any of this. I was so lost in talking about whatever the heck I was talking about in the first couple of minutes of this video. I don't even know where the heck we're at. <laughs> I don't recall any of this. See, that just tells you how much I pay attention while I'm playing half the time while I'm talking about random nonsense. I mean, if I'm if I'm talking random nonsense, for the most part, I'll know what I'm doing. But if I'm talking about something that requires your... At what the heck is this? Am I going to die if I do this? No, okay. If I, but if I talk about something that requires your attention, I'm not going to have any idea what the heck I'm doing. Whoa, Link, you are, again, you are pretty, that's one thing I have to say that's pretty good about Link is that he does a pretty good job of dodging those projectiles like a pro, but then sometimes he revels in it too long and then gets himself killed. Again, he's done that numerous times, either killed or seriously disfigured and or maimed, which they could mean all the same thing, but it depends on what you, what your definition of mangled and maimed is. I think that's the end of this one. So this place wasn't exactly windy, but it was shifting. Oh, shifting because the platforms were changing and moving. Makes sense. The desert cavern. There's a temple up there. I mean, is this, is this going to take us to the temple? The desert temple? Oh, wow. It's kind of great. I kind of like the idea of these places in that on the outside, they look all tiny. And then you go on the inside and it's like, oh, it's all huge. And there's a little bit of water here. I can go. I can move forward if I wanted to. What's, what's forward? What is, what's here? 
I probably should go in that house. Considering it's small, it probably isn't something huge. For some reason, I figured we were... No, wait, can I, can I even go in there? I can't. So I don't know what the heck I was talking about. It's just a little house. <laughs> it's just kind of there. Or is that like... Is that the crypt in which all of these skeletons escaped from? I, th I think that would make some sense, what I would think. I mean, you know, skeletons... Skeletons come from crypts and or mausoleums. So that's probably what happened. I can't really go back up there now because of life. But again, don't necessarily need lives. I'm up to 19 lives, which is better than I was a couple videos ago where I was less than 10. But then we started finding lives, you know, like like crazy for whatever reason. And we just started stocking up on everything. Ah, oh, Jesus. These Cheez-Its, these darned sandworms are... They are, they are a deadly bunch. They just kind of come up and ambush your face, and they're like, Hello, guy! Nice to see you. Welcome to my little humble abode known as the Shifting Sands of the World. Hello! We got a thing because we were being experimental. But I'm probably going to lose it on this guy. I didn't! For, luckily, I did not lose it on that guy. I would have been really upset if I lost it on that guy. I almost lost it on that guy, so I need to start paying attention to the fact that Mr. The, you know, ground green slidey slide guys are just here to destroy everything I hold dear. Which, you know, wouldn't be the first time. He's probably gonna spawn and kill me. He almost did. He almost spawned and killed me. But I have three hearts. So he would not have killed me. We beat a level with a laser. Which, you know, that doesn't happen very often. We're probably gonna have one level before the the, the, the temple. That's what I figured. Oh, they're gonna make us go all the way around it, aren't they? So you're gonna go here and here and here. And then you're gonna reach it. Gerudo Falls. There's water here. Da -da 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 -da. Can I go in this? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't go inside these. Well, darn. That's unfortunate. I mean, that's if I can go inside things, but it is what it is. Falls. <gasps> Drudo Falls. It's a sand fall. That makes sense. We are now inside. What is going on? I can... Ouch. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> he got... They got me. Oh, see, th this is where the lasers would have been useful. I wouldn't have had to even come close to hitting these guys. Or even... I wouldn't have had to get close to them to hit them. I could have just stayed at, my, stayed at a safe distance. But nope. They decided to ambush me and say, You don't deserve the laser. You don't play well enough. I'm like, aw. How rude. We got a midpoint already. And what's inside here? Do you have a boss? They gave me two power-ups. Uh, what's this? We have a visitor, Ka I don't I don't really know, Ka Kaume? I, maybe it, it's that boy who dares to defy the great Ganondorf, Kotake. Kotake, he really doesn't know what he's up against. Kotake said that. He seems to think he still stands a chance. He wants the Triforce to save the land, but will he still have the upper hand? Oh, look at that, there's a little bit of a poem going on there. Stop rhyming with me, it's so cliche, haha. -ha. Fair enough, dear sister. Should we punish this foolish lad? They were girls all along. Yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> So, please disregard my previous voices. Certainly, it's our duty to the great Ganondorf. Ho, ho, ho. Of course, we'd be the wrong not to. He, he, he. Then let's shower him with spells. Oh, no. So, they... Are they witches? Oh, you're a fire person. You you throw fire at me. Man, why, why do you do such things? Come on, then. There's a door down there that I probably could have gone into. But, you know, that's the that's the loser's way out. I mean, we, that's why we just got to keep going forward, because we don't know what we could go up against up in the upper world. Maybe there's a prize if we can manage to survive this person all the way to the top. Maybe, maybe, maybe we just have to scale the mountain. Now we're going to be, now they're going to be tossing two different things at me, which is worse than, one of which bounces. The blue one, the blue one stuff bounces along things. Bounces and slides. It just depends on what they decide to do. There's a life here. Oh, really? See, that was, do I have to just go back all the way back down now? Is that the situation? Ouch! See, that's just rude. Okay, so did I go all the way up there for a life? That sure is what it looks like. Then what's in here, then? It's a springboard. Jeez, what a fresh kid. Let's get let's get serious. Keep your cool. Let's get him for now. Hmm, well, he does yet seek the Triforce. We just need to retrieve it from the Spirit Temple before him. It's a race to the top. Oh, oh, oh if he can make it that far. We'll see, we'll see. I shall beat you there. I shall win! It is... Oh, is this the Spirit Temple? The Spirit Temple. Well, alright, this is perfect. We could probably, we could end off with this level, as we always seem to do. Welcome to the Spirit Temple. This is where the spirits come... This is where the spirits gather to talk about... Well, this looks oddly familiar. This was, This looks very close to the start of another temple we had previous ex, previously explored in the original rock world and as this of course is the rock world second coming which we've we've found to be the desert which is there much of a difference i suppose i mean sand is just little stones so maybe it is the rock world come back to haunt us maybe it oh look at that spawner down there okay so i guess 
We have to deal with a spawner. Oh, man. Get out of here, guy. Oh, no. Oh, they're coming from both directions. They've come to kill me. That would be bad news, my friend. That would be bad news, Jimmy. And again, we've explained. No one likes a bad news, Jimmy. Because, again, he's just, he's just a downer. So we have to race to the top of the Spirit Temple before... Katake and Kaume do, which we shall. We should. I think. I, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure we can make it. I mean, again, Link. He he is a better runner than he is a swimmer. He is an Olympic runner, for he, you know, he in, he invented the Olympic sport of, uh, 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 d d d distance speed running. What's this? Shake, help me. All right, fine. Then. She's just going to ignore my very existence. Then what's this? Do I need to go over here? Maybe I find something. Yeah, probably. It seems like we probably just need fire, which, you know, no, we need a key. Did we miss something somewhere? What's going on here? I feel like we must have missed something very crucial because we can't go both places. Or maybe maybe I can go higher and I didn't realize it. No, that's as high as we can go. What the No, we didn't go over here. I'm a moron. <laughs> There's that thing down there. It's pretty unfortunate that those things are extremely simple to kill. Um, yeah, there was that orb over there, and or button thing that we could press and use it for our own various purposes, which may involve, you know, reaching Sheik and not getting ourselves killed at the hands of many fireballs that are just, you know, coming to burn our rumps to bits. That'd be, that'd be bad news. That'd be, that'd be just, I mean, again, bad news. Bad news is very common in the, in the world of Let's Play. I mean, we just, we don't want to deal with those kinds of shenanigans. We really, really don't. I want to make sure I can... I freaking hate quicksand! Ah, Okay, man. It's just impossible to jump out of it when you're somebody that doesn't jump well enough to begin with. Okay, come over here, guy. Just use your... <sighs> I knew that would happen. Use your ability to super jump to avoid everything. Which is what I would have told him, but, you know, he decided to super jump and run into a wall and still be in my way. Oh, what the heck is that? Uh, what is going on here? What do I do? Do I have to? Do I have to kill his buddies one at a time? Possibly. Oh no! Wait, I have to. I have to stand on this thing, and it'll go down and allow me to hit him. Oh, I have to hit him. Ah, oh, that was crappy. So I have to hit him. I have to hit each and every segment once. And there was no midpoint. Okay, then. easy to be honest with you oh wait can I just hit him, like all at once nearly oh give me a but I can block his fireballs okay well I can block his fireballs which that came in useful once <laughs> once in that whole situation that's him there's a midpoint fireballs chic why didn't you know why did you not help me sooner I think that would have been uh, much more helpful to me then, <laughs> then you know me dying. And I'm gonna... The fire pendants fireballs can melt ice and strike distant targets. Thank you for that information. I already knew, Sheik. What a what a helpful person you are. Oh, jeez, look at this. We have flooded the world. What's this mean? Does this mean I can, I can, can I? Does this mean I can go do something? Does this mean I can, I can, I can do? No, I have to. Does that mean I can go up here now? Possibly? I mean, if I make the jump. No, but the problem is, is that Link doesn't jump very well. Yeah, and I'd be hitting that. So I don't think that's what I have to do. Well, what's the... What is the situation now, I wonder? Lord all mercy! Because I really, really do not know what I have to do now. Because I can't go over there anymore. Uh, 
I can't go over here anymore. Can I? Is there something I missed here? Oh, I have to use the fireballs. Hello. A puzzly puzzle that really wasn't all that puzzly. Come on, Jack. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta open your eyes. You gotta, you gotta not be so confused so easily. Because I think that'd just be a problem for everybody involved. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, now the sand is destroying the world. So now I can actually, you know, go up here and continue upward. Hopefully we make it quicker than those two little fairy friends up there. Because that would be a problem. We do, we, we do not want to lose to them. Oh, that's my fireball, which is probably an issue here. To be honest, I probably needed fireballs. So I'm going to go back and get them, considering. Look at those not lit uh, torches. Oh, wait, is it too late? Or is it... Can I... Yes, I can. Okay, I was going to say. It's like, maybe that's not what we have to do, but nope, they allow us to go back to get fireballs. These temples, they are always puzzly, aren't they? Which I suppose that I suppose that's okay. It makes my, makes my brain think, even when it's not all that complicated. Uh, so yeah, I'm assuming I have to do something like this to light the fires. Yep. You know, I mean, of course, when, when you when you see non-lit torches just conspicuously hanging out there, it's kind of what you got to figure. Damn it. That's what you got to figure the situation is going to be. Uh, I have to go back again and get fire again. Like I'm, it's not like I'm dropping f bombs or n bombs or any of that situation. I'm just, I'm just saying your typical run-of-the-mill words. I suppose that's okay. What's this hand? That hand was something. Was it the mighty black hand or mighty blue hand of death? Possibly. Okay, so I have to jump hit that thing. I have to aim right. That's kind of that's oddly precise. There we go. But nope, that is not what I have to do. And I missed a key somewhere. What do you mean I missed a key somewhere? Use the hand. Do I have to go all the way over here? Maybe that hand has some form of use. Maybe there's a key over here just hanging out. Yeah, I need. I still need fire over here, so it tells me it's still. Wait, but I. Okay, those can be destroyed. Never mind. I was gonna say, but what's this then? I can't even. I can't even go past this. <laughs> I was gonna say, how confusing. And what? Are, what are they trying to explain here? They're trying to explain everything. Man, you just made my life hard. But do I care? Not really. I'm just going to avoid that. There's, a, there's the key right hanging out over there. Um, but how do I get it? Do I have to go to I have to go to the top of the world in order to reach Mr. the Key Key. Key 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 Key. Woohoo! I almost jumped again. I'm glad I didn't jump again because if I jumped again, I would have been, you know, I would have been, I would have died, and that would that would have been un, that would have been unsafe. I, I would have lost my fireball to make to, to be simple. And if I lose my fireball, I have to do all this nonsense again because to be frank. It's not going to let me do it again. Oh, well, I lost my fireball, so I hope I don't necessarily need it again on the way down. Which is not looking like I do, so I think we'll be fine. Woohoo! Ouch! Maybe I will die on the way down just because I'm being t attacked by fireballs. Oh, there's the key. I was going to say, where'd the key go? Man, that, that, thing is, that thing was also very well camouflaged. I would have I been stuck here trying to figure out what the heck I was doing for a million years. Okay, I have to go back and get fireballs again. Man, these these videos are gonna are long because of these temples. I have to say, I mean, <laughs> this is this is where their video lengths are going. I mean, the 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 levels. And this is where their level lengths are going because the normal levels really aren't that long. I mean, you need to reach the temples and then they're like a million years worth of just wandering corridors and hoping you're going to the right area, <laughs> which is just kind of what I'm doing anyway. I'm hoping I'm going the right way, which I would think I am because you know I'm dealing with a puzzly puzzle situation, which you know you don't deal with those very often. So there you go, Mr. Skelly. God. Damn you, buttons that don't just die. Oh man, okay, wait. There, okay, are we done? Are we close to being done by any chance? Are we, are we gonna be able to go to the top of the temple? Because I did see that there was a platform at the very top of the main hub area over here, which is where we are going. But we, we prob they're probably gonna be there before we are, and we have to fight them or something, which, again, that would only make sense. Yep, we won, and then there's a boss. So, man. Well, you know what we're going to do, guys? I hate to kind of leave it a leave cliffhanger here, but I don't want to make this video any much longer than it already is, so I'm just going to leave it off here next video. Well, well, anyway. Thank you guys for watching this episode of The Last King of Hyrule. It's been Jack. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like what you saw. Next episode, we will start out with uh, beating the boss, which is the Spirit Pillar boss. <laughs> so, once again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.